might have a submission coming in on building. Has that one been solved yet? Let's catch up here. Yep, it's got a few solves. The first one actually at seven minutes. Atlantic Community High School, number one. <laughs> Some strong teams competing today. Huh? Clear. So last we heard from you guys, we saw nine solves on the scoreboard. Let's jump back to that. And we also jumped down below. We noticed we had missed a solve on DK, which is believed to be one of the hardest problems in this set from Atlantic Community High School number one in an hour 29 with two submits. Mm -hmm. That's an incredible solve. That's amazing, yeah. I wanted to get your take on that and also explain what the problem is for any like competitive programming type interested people who want to think about it on their own. So, thoughts on this problem? Yeah, so personally, I thought this was the hardest problem on the set because okay. it's quite math heavy and Definitely. number theory heavy. Definitely. But like I was mentioning before, I think a lot of the participants are really strong in math. A lot Absolutely. Of have a math background. Absolutely. Like Atlantic, who huh? managed to solve the problem. So mm -hmm. I think it would benefit a lot of those stronger math teams because mm -hmm. I think a lot of the other teams are going to struggle on it. So I think Atlantic is in a really good spot right now. And Definitely wrong about that interesting yep yeah it's, it can be hard for authors to predict the difficulty of their problems with with so little knowledge on the contestants background and, and level of experience that is correct mm -hmm. one person a problem that might be hard for one contestant might be easy for another absolutely it we see that with decay down here on the scoreboard it all depends <laughs> on their skill sets and what they've been studying and practicing in the days leading up to the contest certainly true Certainly true, and we see that with this decay solve, which still has yet to be solved by another team. A submission from the first from academy. The first They're academy. at the top. You guys can see they are attempting that problem. We also have other teams attempting Fox. I want to call out Atlantic Community High School number one, who's also solved Fox. That is insane. Atlantic Community... <laughs> They've solved both decay and Fox. Has... Two problems which other teams have found incredibly challenging. And they have not solved flow, which seems to be a problem that's easier. So that's interesting to see. For all the other teams, at least, yeah, their knowledge or background might have made them more well-suited to these problems. Or it might just be the case that they were going after these. <laughs> it seems like their skill sets are suited for those problems. Yes, it certainly does. However, what's interesting to me is Fox and I'm not gonna to reveal too much here, but is also a sort of graph, a graph type problem. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a graph type problem, which requires a similar skill set, to, in my mind, to flow. Yeah, I completely So agree. that's that's what's interesting to me is that they have that one but not flow. We might see a difference yeah. there. I just saw another solve come up. That is interesting. Yeah, one would assume that if you could fall <laughs> you could solve flow. You would think. So they but maybe might, they've they been might prioritizing have not other it. problems. They might have so they not just approached might it. Not and if it, they yeah. take a look at the scoreboard, they'll probably have a pretty good chance at getting that sixth solve, which would bring them up quite a bit and if they can get one of these other ones, they'll they'll be in a pretty solid position. Actually. Well, the first has no three submits on the K. They still unfortunately have not been able. But I know the Atlantic community, which was a team that we highlighted earlier on that solved the K and Fox pretty relatively early on and according to our expectations, has now jumped up to fifth place with eight problems solved. Yes, that's correct. They came through with flow at the 212 mark. Yep. Five minutes later with letter at 217. And then 12 minutes later with summer. That's at right, and they had submissions on that already, if I remember correctly. Yep. They were able to fix that right away. We've seen a huge jump for them now at eight problems. That decay solution might be the key to success for them so today. So in the span of 12 minutes, they <laughs> solved three problems. So they their strategy might have just been, let's find a problem we think we can do on the harder side, let's solve it to give us a, a solid advantage, and then come back and make up for it on the easier ones 
so that we can ensure we get that hard solve early in, in case it takes us a lot of time. That's a yep. risky strategy to employ. Yep. You have to have confidence that you will then solve that those you will easier. get the hard one. Yeah, yeah you will get and the hard easier one and have time to solve the easier ones. That's right. That's a very risky strategy to employ, and that can accrue you quite a bit of penalty. I mean, you'll notice they have seven hundred points, while some of the other teams, the Freedom High School number one team, has <laughs> two hundred eighty-five points. Yeah. With the same number of solves. Yeah. That's a huge difference. So they're going to need an extra extra solve in this contest if they yep. want to make it happen. Yep, but they are still missing espionage, which by the looks has like is the next yeah, solved. That problem. is how it looks, but by their skill set, any of these might be might be approachable. I mean, they yep. had the familiarity for Decay, and they may feel that way about another problem too. Yep. And then it could surprise us with our first hero solve. Yeah. I think they would be the team, considering they got the solve on Decay. Maybe, maybe, but I wouldn't rule out any of these other teams as well. Just yeah. From six problem solve, yeah. Yeah. I mean... It's cool to see that a majority of teams have submitted in the last hour, and that they yep. haven't dropped off. And no, they're, they're they, continuing to work. They're continuing to work and program and submit solutions, so it's great to see that they haven't stopped. Yep. There's actually a team... Who solved, it looks like there's a time, if you look at the 78th seed, that 115 and the 216, I believe they solved They submitted after both they solved. problems and, and then, then submitted, submitted again, again in the, the last hour. hour. So they introduced some ambiguity maybe for, for parents or coaches or whatever who didn't look at the score earlier <laughs> and now only see that question mark. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> One might wonder what strategy they're employing. <laughs> it's tough to speculate what their strategy there might be. Yeah. Um, Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> they're, I think, looking... No, I actually want to I wanna reflect on that. I think what they're looking for here is an obfuscation to the, to the, uh, of the truth, the solves. An obfuscation of the solves. Because if they can take that knowledge from other contestants about what they solved, other people might have a harder time about knowing what to go for. Mm. I see. Now, that doesn't apply as much to, to problems that are as solved as so true in Invaders, but to the yeah. lesser solved problems, it definitely does. I think I actually have, from experience, submitted on a problem in the last hour just to make thing, teams think that, oh, this problem there is you like, go. should be worked on. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So uh, it is not and unreasonable. And they've also submitted on DK. Yeah. It is not unreasonable. Do you think they solved DK? Bleed the bit. 